Hello, this is Professor Sanyal. In this video, I'm going to show how to create clusters from a dataset and how to evaluate the performance of the clustering. For the purpose of cluster analysis, I'm going to use a dataset called Health Data, which I have already imported. Let's look at the characteristics of this dataset. This dataset has three attributes of 547 individuals. Uh, let's look at the statistics of these uh, attributes. The weight of individuals varies from 95 pounds to 203 pounds, the average being 143 pounds. The cholesterol levels of the 547 individuals in this data set vary from 102 to 235 with average being 170 and approximately half of the individuals in this data set are females indicated by zero uh, gender value and male with uh, indicated by one uh, gender value. Now let's go back to design and start creating the process. So we put health data over here. Now all clustering algorithms rely on calculating the distance among the data points within each cluster and between clusters. And so it's always a good idea to normalize the data set before conducting cluster analysis. So we are going to use a simple normalizing operator over here. And now we are going to use a clustering operator. The most common clustering operator or the most common method to conduct cluster analysis is the k-means clustering. In k-means clustering, the k refers to the number of clusters. So if we look at this operator, we'll see that there is a parameter called k, which is where we have to indicate how many clusters we want. So for this example, we are going to use four clusters. So we are going to change the default value of five to four. And we can uh, evaluate the performance of the four clusters. And if we are not happy, we can change it to something else later. Now, the clustering operator has two output ports, as you can see. The top output port, which is the um, clustering model, and the bottom output port, which is the clustered set. So we are going to put both of these output and look at the results. And once again, note that the only parameter that we changed is the value of K, which we set to four. So we'll get four clusters when we run this process. So let's go ahead and run this process. So first, let's look at the cluster model. We have four clusters um, with cluster zero having 141 items, cluster one, 140 items, and so on. We can also look at the centroid table, although these are the normalized values, so we cannot make much sense out of these uh, values. However, what it means is that of the 140 individuals in cluster zero, these are the averages. That is, this is the average weight, this is the average um, cholesterol, and this is the average gender. However, the values are, for example, the value of weight is negative, the average value, because we normalized the values before conducting the cluster analysis. We can also look at the plot, and the plot is really meaningful. What it shows is that out of the four clusters, the two clusters, you can see the color codes over here, the legends over here. Out of the two clusters, out of the four clusters, Two clusters are for females and two clusters contain primarily males, which are clusters um, zero and cluster one are primarily uh, male and cluster three and cluster two, these are primarily females. Now, out of these two female um, clusters. We have one, which is the cluster three, which is the color red, which has high cholesterol and high weight. And the other cluster, the green cluster, has low cholesterol and low weight. Similarly, out of the two clusters with mostly male, 
One is low cholesterol and low weight, which is the blue cluster or cluster zero. And the green cluster, which is cluster one, has high cholesterol and high weight. In other words, the four clusters has been created in such that there are two clusters with mostly women and two clusters with mostly men. And out of those two clusters, each has one cluster with high, people with high weight, high cholesterol and the other cluster uh, with low weight, low cholesterol. Now we can go back to the example set, the other output that we saw. And here what we see is how each row has been clustered or in other words, the cluster membership of each row. So the first uh, row is in cluster zero, the second individual is in cluster zero, the third individual is in cluster zero and so on. Um, fourth individual is in cluster two. Now we can sort and we can put all the people in cluster zero and then if we go down, we'll see where cluster one and cluster two. So we can see all the individuals um, in each of these clusters. Now, the number of clusters may be determined in two ways. One is mathematically, which I'm going to show you in a second. And the other is by business needs. That is the business may determine that they want to create four segments out of their customers or five segments out of their customers and so on. But we can use some uh, math metric to measure the um, quality of the clusters mathematically. Now, one, some of them are uh, provided in rapid minor. So one is the cluster. We are going to use the performance. So if we go down here, we see several cluster uh, performance uh, uh, operators. We are going to use the one that says cluster distance performance. Now, if we look at the two input mandatory input ports, the first one is the example set and the next one is the cluster model. As we saw earlier, our top output ports creates the cluster model. So we are going to put that one in the bottom in input port and the bottom output port to the top input port. And we are going to put all the three output ports in our result. Now the performance operator has two metric. One is the average within centroid distance and other is the davis Bouldin index. We are going to use the davis Bouldin index. Now, if you know a little bit about the um, clusters or how to ascertain the quality of clusters, in clustering, the greater the similarity of the items within a cluster, the better. And also the less the similarity between two clusters, the better. That is, we want the items within a cluster to be as similar as possible and as different as possible from the items in another cluster. Now, the way to measure those is to measure the intra cluster distance that is the distance within distance of the items within the cluster and then inter cluster distance which is the distance between two clusters now davis bouldin measures davis bouldin is a ratio of the intra cluster distance to inter cluster distance now since we want the intra cluster distance to be as low as possible and inter cluster distance to be as high as possible the ratio their ratio which is davis bouldin is good when it is as low as possible in other words a lower davis bouldin index is better than a higher davis bouldin index now we can show some advanced parameters also now if we run this process now it is going to show both the average within centroid distance and the davis bouldin in uh, index but if we want to see only the davis bouldin index then we can check this box and say main criteria only 
Also, rapid minor uh, multiplies the Davis Boolean index with a negative uh, sign or minus one, which I don't like. So I'm going to check this box saying maximize, in which case only the Davis Boolean index will be shown as a positive number. Now let's go ahead and run this process and go to the performance. We see that the Davis Boolean index of this uh, clustering, that is of the k equals 4, where we created four clusters, the Davis Boolean is 0 0.596. Now, this doesn't tell us much about the quality of the clusters. However, if we create another clustering with a different number of clusters, then we can compare the two Davis Boolean index. So with the four clusters, it is 0 0.596. And let's try the Davis Boolean index with three clusters. Let's suppose we change the value of k to three and we run it again. In this case, as you can see, there are three clusters which have been created and the Davis Boolean index is 0 0.69, which is higher than that with four clusters. So we can see, we can say based on the Davis Boolean index that mathematically four clusters are better than three clusters in this example. So that's how we create uh, clusters from a data set and use a simple metric such as the Davis Boolean index to evaluate the quality of the clusters. Thank you so much for your attention.